It's a beautiful spring day, and that means we're super excited to start foraging again. So me and the family are going to go take a walk through the woods and see what we can end up finding. One of the first things we noticed when walking back through here was the really distinct oniony smell, and that probably means there's gonna be a lot of ramps around. As you can see, these grow in really large colonies. They are just all over back here. Usually they'll grow up in hardwood forests. Ramps, or wild leeks as sometimes they're called, can be found in hardwood forests. The biggest thing is you just need to be careful that you know exactly what you're getting. Make sure that you're consulting someone that knows exactly what they're doing before you start just eating random things in the woods. You don't want to get sick. There's a lot of lookalikes of the ramps. They can be lily of valley and false hellborn, and these are really toxic. So you need to make sure that you're getting the right plant before you do anything. We always make sure that we consult with one of our neighbors who has been foraging for years. And so we always check with everything with her before we do anything. And we also look a lot of stuff up online or in books to make sure that we're getting the right stuff. As you can see here, these ramps have really, really smooth, glossy leaves. So you just wanna make sure they're not ribbed or anything. That might be a look-alike. So as you can see here, the biggest, the biggest thing for ramps is their smell. If you pull these, you can, they smell like onions. The whole woods back here smells like onions. So we're gonna dig some of these up and I'll show you what they look like. Getting all that dirt off of them. And you can see here, they get in these clusters. What you need to do is pull this down. And that's what we got. Just bring back a plastic bag and I'll throw all these in there. And I'll usually just bring them back home and clean them back in the yard. Yeah, they had that really distinct oniony taste to them. Man, I hate onion. <laughs> yeah. After we got done foraging, we figured we'd come and check our mar mushrooms that we planted last year. We put them in these logs. So what they do is you get them and they come in these dowels that are impregnated with the fungus. You drill them and then you actually hammer in the dowels into these logs. Um, there's a bunch of different steps that you have to do and there's some different configurations of the logs that you can set up. We did this where we kind of have them raised up off the ground and then just lined up next to each other. You can also make like a log cabin style and a couple different ways that you can do it. Um, and then you cover up those dowels with paraffin or wax or something like that. So um, nothing yet, but we're hoping later this spring that we'll have some shiitake mushrooms. Um, we just got back from the woods with our ramps and we thought we'd try pickling them to see how they turn out. Once you bring them back, the main thing you need to do is clean them really well. I already had Josh do that, so I don't have to worry about that now. Next, when you cut them up, you wanna make sure you cut the stem off and then you can cut them in whatever size pieces you like and then just pop them in your jar. You can save the green for salads if you like. Now we've actually never pickled ramps before, but we really love refrigerated pickled like different veggies. So I bet you we're gonna love these. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see, we didn't get as much as we thought. The greenery is a little deceiving. So if you ever want an extensive amount, you have to get a lot of ramps. We're gonna be doing refrigerated pickling when it comes to our ramps, and what you need is to have equal parts water and vinegar. I am doing a fourth a cup of water with a fourth a cup of vinegar. And then a teaspoon of salt, if I can find my teaspoon. There it is. Make sure that your salt is non-iodized. I'm gonna take this over to the stove now and dissolve the salt. In the meantime, it looks like my rolls are ready to go in, so I'm gonna get those in the oven. These are my homemade burger buns. If you guys like, I can show you the recipe sometime. They're really good. I'm just putting the egg wash on them right now. So now my salt is dissolved and all I'm going to do is pour it in to my little jar of ramps. Hmm, good thing I didn't do any more liquid. <laughs> Whew, you can really smell the onion. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the fridge and it's gonna sit there for about three to four days and after that, they're good to eat. I'm gonna use these for tonight's supper and make a salad with them. And then hopefully we'll try these out soon. Let us know down in the comments what you like to forage for and we'll see you all again next week. Mm -hmm.